Go for it. Jesus, take the wheel! Hey guys, welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. You know what? When you go on tour, you need a jet. That's right. So like LOL Remix, right? That's like the hottest thing this year. The biggest uh, comprehensive doll line release we've seen in a long, long time. And I, you know, I'm loving the LOL Remix dolls. Well, they have a jet, but here's what's really exciting. Today, on the day that I'm filming this, is the day that I'm gonna post this because I just went on Amazon and this thing is usually $99. But right now on Amazon, as I am looking at this, there is a coupon for $9.01. So it's $89 right now, plus there's a coupon for $9.01, which brings it down to $79.99, but then you gotta add your sales tax, which for me is 7%, so it's $85.29 to get it in New Jersey and it will be here on Monday. That's pretty cool because it's awesome. It's not just a jet. No, this is not just an airplane, okay? Because these girls are going on tour. This is all of these things into one. It's a studio. It's, it's a four in one plane is what it's called. There's a mixing booth, there's a recording studio, there's a car, it's a plane, there's 50 surprises. So I have to tell you, I totally cheated and I had my husband unbox this sucker for me because my energy lately has not been the best. So um, I think we're looking at it. I don't know what all the 50 surprises are, okay? But we're just gonna look at it kind of put together. And, but I will tell you the one thing that he told me that's very important to know when buying, because this would be like a big Christmas present. This is great, like if you have multiple kids who are into dolls, this is something that they can play with together. That's why I like doll houses and campers and vehicles and things like that. Um, this took really minimal assembly, he said was really, really fast. I had him assemble something else that had like a 50 sticker sticker plan and he was like ready to like just lose his mind. This was super easy. So this one you don't necessarily have to assemble the night before and because of the whole surprise component of it, you probably want them to open the box and you know, kind of get that experience, but it won't matter that you're like all hung over <laughs> or haven't had any sleep. So um, let's take a closer look at this plane together because I haven't done it yet either. Okay, so we are going to do this backwards of the way that most people have done it on their videos because if you are a parent, aunt, uncle, grandparent, or whoever, who has to assemble this or, well, not assemble it, the assembly was easy, the turning it into all the different things, I wanna show you how to do that first because that's the information that you want. So here's the jet, okay? It's very cool, it's very cool. All right. So this sucker has wheels but in order to, you just shove them up there. Um, if you want to get rid of the wing, the wheels and be able to open the steps so that people can get up and down over here, you need to shove the wings back in order to do that. And we are going to need to know how to do that again for other purposes. There's this white button right here. Push the white button and you grab the whole thing and you slide it like that and then the wheels just pop out and then you just sh shove them back in with your meaty fingers and then you slide this back. Now remember, these things are designed for hands way smaller than mine and people with far better manual dexterity than I have. But anyway, so you open it up, okay? And it folds down and now we've got our steps so our dolls can go up inside. This opens. Up here, we've got our little storage where they can keep all of their stuff. I like the little speaker details. What's really cute is that the seats are all movable. There's pegs here on the floor, so you can decide you wanna put the seats facing this way. I wanna face everybody, you know, like they would on a real corporate jet, you know, they would face each other. And so the couch also comes out of the pegs, okay. And so you can put it in going this way, however you want. So you can just move the furniture around. The other really cool thing about the furniture is that it does recline. So you can turn these into, you know, places for people to sleep. Because you know how like when you're on tour and you're really tired and you wanna to go to sleep, 
you know? And you know how when you're sitting behind that person on the plane and they pull this crap on you and then your knees are like up in your throat for the whole flight? So you can do that with all of the seats. The other cool thing is that these are sort of, sort of fuzzy. But they're a very cute design, and you see as you put it together, it kind of looks like that. So um, there's there's a, re there's a lot of really bright, fun colors going on here. So it's really cute. And then there's the uh, the table has like little drink holders, and then these little pieces flip out. And we've also got the tray so that you can flip down. <clears throat> like theoretically, you can, okay, there you go. You can flip down the tray. And, uh, and then, so like when this person does this, now your food is on your feet. Um, you know, so good times, good times on the airplane. Now, that's all happening, right? So this is a four in one, okay? Remember that? Here's one of the four. We're just gonna pull this out. It's a car. Now, calling it a car, I don't know. That's probably a reach, I'm thinking. It's still a car. It's still a car. And these seat belts do come out. So let's grab an LOL OMG doll. Important to note, this toy does not come with any dolls. So a lot of times when you get like an LOL surprise type toy, sorry, sorry I'm really bad at this kind of filming, uh, it'll come with a special doll. These do not. This, the, the plane does not. Okay, great. So I like this because they also have this in the closet. These, the, the securing things are elastic, which is so much better than like a, a, a hard plastic that usually ends up breaking. Okay, so she's in there and she can drive. Does this turn into a steering wheel somehow that I'm not seeing? No. So she's just gonna drive like that. That's all. There you go, Lone Star. Go for it. Vroom, vroom. Jesus, take the wheel! Yep, there you go. So that's how it turns into a car. So that's kind of cool. And I'm gonna flip it over and I think push this button. Oh, oops. Now you wouldn't be doing this on a moving platform most likely. <laughs> In case you didn't know, I'm known for being very unprofessional. Hashtag not profesh. Okay, why is this not coming off all the way? Is there another button? Am I missing something? It popped off in everybody else's video. How come it won't pop off in mine? Okay. <laughs> you just had to muscle it off. Okay. So this is what they're calling a mixing booth. All right. Looks to me like the cockpit. And let's see, we're supposed to put this down. And we're supposed to be able to turn this around. This is literally me watching Toy Caboodle's video trying to figure out how the heck to turn this cockpit into a mixing booth. I was losing my mind. Here's Lone Star doing a little recording with her uh, backup band, I guess. Okay, sure. One other cute little feature, and it's easiest to see when we've got it set up, especially with all the light in this room, is that it lights up inside. So kind of like a party bus or a cool limo. It's a really cute effect when you're using it as a recording studio, but also just as a plane. Okay, if you wanna see a really great video where somebody does this really well, go check out Toy Caboodle's video, which I will link. But if you are a parent like me, who like really can't, you know, do stuff real easily, that's what it's gonna look like. Your kid's gonna figure it out like that though. And that's what's really cool. And right now it's only $89. So as I said, it doesn't come with any dolls, but it does come with a lot of surprises. So it comes with this, which you can see, you've got your little sleepy pillows. Look, so you've got one for an LOL OMG doll, one for the smaller LOL dolls. We've got some mugs, we've got a microphone, we've got headphones for both size dolls. We've got plates, we've got some sunglasses. Oh, this is like a little sleep mask. We've got a little tablet. So we've got, you know, all the little things. And I think, and this is a microphone stand right here for the recording studio. And then it also comes with a box 
filled with surprises. So the cool thing about this is that in the beginning, it's a surprise toy, right? It's got all of these things to open, which is really, really exciting for the kids. Kids still seem to love the surprise factor, but then it becomes this multifunctional, storytelling, playing, you know, one one kid can be playing recording studio while the other one is driving around with the car and then somebody else is in the mixing booth. Eh. But, you know, I mean, it, it, it breaks up into different pieces, which is really, really cool because a lot of times things are multifunctional, but all as one piece. So you can't just like take a piece of like the Barbie jet and go play with it in another room. Like you can't do that. So let's take a look at what the surprises are. This one seems kind of small. I'm so glad that these are paper. Okay, this is a doll stand and okay, and two little feet stands. Okay, so this is for, I believe the recording studio. So you've got these little, when you see these little things, parents, and you're like, what the heck? are these little things. These are actually doll stands for the, the small LOL dolls. So I'm talking about these guys right here. So this size doll goes into these little doodads here. Eh. Of course I pick one with chunky boots on that's not gonna fit. Eh. Eh. But that that's what those are. So whenever you see those, don't throw those out because that's what those are for. And then this is so that Lone Star can stand up inside the recording studio and record her debut, I Made It On A Jet album. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. So let me put this somewhere so that I don't lose it. What else did we get? Ah, you gotta have a drink cart, right? We gotta have a drink cart so that we can hit people in the shoulder and the elbow as we're coming down the aisle. We need a way to block the aisle so that you can't go to the bathroom. Nicely done. I like the colors too. And I like just the little touch that this is like a little zigzaggy thing. That's pretty cool. What else did we get? What else did we get? Oops. Oh, uh, I love doll luggage. Oh, look, and you get that squiggle again. Does that have anything in it? Is there anything in our doll luggage? There's nothing in our doll luggage, but that's okay because these dolls all come with a lot of accessories, so it's nice to have some cool doll luggage. Very cool. And I wonder what this is. Ooh! Oh! This looks like a shoe case or a makeup case. There you go. This one does not have a pull along handle. This one does. So we get two pieces of luggage, and we got the stands. For the, uh, for the recording studio, and we got some accessories. So pretty cool. Right now it is $89 if you buy it today, as long as it lasts on Amazon. Not bad, not bad at all for something that's really cool. I mean, uh, I'm still like, uh, uh, mixing studio, but I'm sure kids can come up with other stories for what this cockpit actually does and is other than a cockpit or a potential mixing studio. Um, but I mean, they can have so much fun. You can pull the chairs out of the plane and just use them as chairs. I mean, it's really cool. You know, I think that, that I like that it's not all just stuck in there. I like that you can move things around and put them in different configurations. I like that the seat belts are elastic. That's so huge. That is so huge. So um, yeah, I, this for me, I'm, I'm, I paid full price for it. So, and, and I'm not disappointed. I'm really not. Um, as a collector, I occasionally, I don't know, I have, a, I've, I have a soft spot in my heart for jets. Like, cause like I always wanted the Barbie jet when I was a kid and I didn't have one. And also campers, but I had a Barbie camper and I love my Barbie camper to death. And uh, that's why I'm not getting the LOL glamper because I have two Barbie campers and I think there's only so many uh, toy campers that a woman can have before it goes into crazy cat lady territory, only it's crazy doll camper lady territory. <laughs> so I hope that this was in some way helpful to you. Um, and uh, oh my gosh, what a hot mess, but it was fun. So I will see you guys again. I will see you guys again real soon. Love you. Bye.